Hello, hi, it's Les here and today I'm going to be doing Roxy's Weekly Challenge and this week it's a document holder. So I've already made this one and I'm really pleased. It's super easy. Um, I've done a slightly, I think, different version. So what it is, is it's a place to keep some documents, some book pages. Um, you keep them all safely tucked in there and... You can just, if my, my card is kind of bouncy, the, the paper. So I've just clipped it closed and it's really just a companion piece to your journal. So I'm just going to keep mine at the back here. And um, I think the purpose is, I well, for decoration, if you, you know, it's just a, a companion piece to the journal and you could actually... Um, you know, decorate the pages and journal on the backs or, you know, or add bits to it, much like another journal within a journal, if you like. Um, or you can use it to tear uh, pieces off and, and, you know, use it as a resource for your journal pages. So if I wanted a piece of this, I could just take a piece off that and use it to decorate one of my pages so it's just a it's a handy um spot if you like for keeping uh, pieces that you might use tear up or do whatever you want to do with it and it's just a nice little um addition to a journal so let's make one together so i've gathered some pages from some old books that i have and um, these are all originals um, they're not hugely old, but they're, they're fairly old. This one's quite mottled, I quite like that. This is from just a book of stitches. I got all these very cheap in the charity shop. Um, I like the colour of that one. This is just from an old dictionary in Stroke Encyclopedia. Um, it's quite a thick book, so I've got hundreds and hundreds of those pages. This is just from an old magazine called The Strand and um, I just want to kind of line them up so that they're all kind of centred so that when I put them in the holder they'll all be kind of in the middle. This looks old but it's not, it's, um, it's from a, a Bruins book. A Bruins is a Scottish um, newspaper cartoon the Bruins um, and they bring out a, a cookbook <laughs> they brought out a cookbook written by uh, the Bruins is a Glasgow family the Browns if you like and um, this is just torn from that but it's done up as if it's um, it's old and um, this is Paw's favourite oxtail soup so Paw is uh, Pop da, Dad um, and Scots, old Scots. So that's a page from that. I thought that was quite nice. And this is just from an old book as well. Um, some graphic paper. So a nice little mix of pages of different types, colours, sizes. And then this is from a book. Um, it's like a kind of big... Uh, interior design book that I got in the charity shop. It was quite a find. It's got lovely um, fonts and nice pages to use. And I'm just going to leave that rough edge there. quite like that. So the first thing you do is just fold a bit in. There. Well, you decide what your back's going to be and what your front's going to be. So I want the outside to be this and then we're going to fold that just in to there. So that's how it's going to look. So if we compare it to the one that I've got, it's, yeah, it's about the same size. So let me give, just give you, I mean, that was just going by eye there, but let me just tell you that the whole piece is 10 just a smidgen over 10 inches then I folded down about two inches and then I folded up about three three and three quarter inches 
so that's some measurements so that's your cover and all we're doing is slotting let me just get this one out of the way the pages once we're happy with how they're together we're just going to sit them lined up with the top there and we're just going to clip them on for now and then we're going to redo the fold so you've got the fold there that we already folded up and you will have the fold here that we already folded for that and that's how it's going to be I've got a little bit showing there. Let's just move that down a smidgen. It's just going to do that. Well, that's fine. If that bothers me, because it's already folded, if this little bit here bothers me too much, I could just trim that off a little bit. Do you know what? I don't think it's quite straight. Let's just pull that in. That's better. Yeah. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is hold these in somehow. So I have used, and I'm going to do the same again, some eyelets, um, but you could use, um, you could just punch holes and put string through, or you could use brads, or you could staple it, or you could give it a wee stitch along the top. Somehow you're going to hold those pages in but I am going to use my crocodile. <laughs> so we're using the three sixteenths and the silver bits there. And I've set this piece, this little black piece, just for the length that I want down from the top. So I'm just going to go catching the smallest piece. I'm going to punch a hole. I nearly did the wrong side. I knew it was wrong because it was going in too far. Here we are, about there. And about the same length in there. And I want my brads to be on going to put this back on. I want my brads to be on the outside so let's choose, not brads, eyelets. Eyelets. <laughs> um, this time we might use some of these bronzy coloured ones. They're quite nice. What did I put in them? Kind of brassy coloured always like to make things a wee bit different. So, one in there. This time we're going to use this piece of the crocodile. Give it a good hard squeeze. That's fine. So that holds the pages in and for a little bit of decoration I am just going to, so really you're kind of mocking up an old fashioned um, document holder if you like because this twine isn't really doing anything, it's just um, Let's put it in the way. It's just, like I say, for decoration. 
because it's not holding anything closed. Right. Just cut that about there. You could just use string, twine, any sort of bit of wool. Oh, anything at all. This is quite, quite thick twine. My other twine on the other one was quite thin, so I doubled it over. But this twine is quite thick. I just want to get the the um, the little loops a bit better because because they've twisted when we get, we're getting a little kink if you know what I mean. It wants to twist round at me. We will soon now knock that out of it. Just play about with it for a bit. Right, just cut those bendy bits off. That's fine. Right, I've got a fancy paper clip, but for this one, that one I stamped original documents just for a bit fancy. This time I'm going to stamp document holder and I'm going to put it long ways on this one just so that it's a little bit different. So I've already stamped document. Let me just move the eyelets away and I'm using some Versafine Onyx Black and my alphabet stamps. And I want to put document holder this time. This one says original documents. I just made it up. This one's going to be called document holder. Just for a little bit different. And I thought at one point I would have made some wax seals, but I changed my mind because the wax seal might be a little too bulky if you're going to keep this, if you're going to keep this separate from the journal and not put it in a journal, then a wax seal might be quite nice to add, you know, a wax seal here or here, but I've only got two wax seals <laughs> and one's a heart and one's a star and it just didn't seem, there's my ruler, it just didn't seem um, appropriate to put a heart on it. This is upside down, but there's not a lot we can do about that, and that's okay. Right. happy with that. Now decisions have to be made. Should it line up like that? Or should we have it at a jaunty along a bit? Should
should we ink round the edges of this one? I didn't ink round the edges of that one, but this, let me just get it. This looks like it needs a little bit of ink round the edges. So we have vintage photo. That's better. I think against the pale background, it didn't need ink, but against this craft, I think it just makes it look more authentic. What do you think? <laughs> okay. Now, same decision needs to be made. Lined up or to the side? I think lined up actually. So just a little bit of glue stick. Let me just hold that up. Nope. Because I can't look down on it because the camera is there. Then I have to hold it up to see if it's straight. <laughs> so, did I say this was the challenge? Yes, I think, it, did I say it was Roxy's weekly challenge? I don't know what number it is. Is it number five or six? I can't remember. But anyway, it's a document holder. I think she's called it a fun document holder. And yes, a bit of fun. It's full old. <laughs> yeah, quite happy with that. That would be good in Happy Mail as well, wouldn't it? To send some some uh, old book pages to your to your pal. I'm quite happy with them. Now, which one will I keep in the Roxy journal? Because that was sweet. That was last week and have I got I've got another one in and that was so maybe this is week four then. Oh no, there's another one that was week five. So this is maybe week six. I don't know. Anyway, I think do I want that one or do I want that one? I think this one goes better with that other page. And we'll keep this one safe and it will find a home sometime in the future. <laughs> right, well, that's me. So, yeah, happy with that. Well, I hope you enjoyed that quick video. And if you did, a thumbs up would be great. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.